Hello, Box Scholar here. Thank you for joining me today. This is part one of a two-part tutorial series on the ARIA from Box Goldberg Variations. Before we continue, I would like to thank you and all my viewers and subscribers for watching this video and supporting me. Your support means everything. Thank you. Part one focuses uh, on an overview of the ARIA plus Cerebons in general. And in part two, I will bring the camera down to more of a hand view and I will focus on details of ornaments and fingering. I would like to share with you something very interesting. This is the first edition, the original edition from 1741 of Box Goldberg Variations. Here is a copy of his title page written in Bach's own hand. This is Bach's writing, not a copyist. This is the aria right here in Bach's own hand. These are, these are all the Goldberg variations here. Fascinating to look at. Bach had some great manuscript. You can order this online, it's not expensive. I'd like to talk about Cerebons. Um, several years ago, I had the privilege and experience of working with a Renaissance and Baroque dancer, both a, a professional dancer and dance historian. I accompanied and collaborated with her for several years and uh, have practical experience with the Baroque dances. I learned that the Sarabande has an emphasis on the second beat. And this is something that most pianists don't realize and Actually, most recordings uh, don't have that in it, I've noticed. In order to give the Sarabande uh, its character and to give the aria its character, we need to infuse energy into the second beat. This is really the best way to do it. Not all the time, but I would say probably 80% of the time. It works very well if we, if we accent that second beat. This is, I think, the most important thing, the most important aspect of performing Cerebons, is giving an emphasis to the second beat. Look, for instance, at the Cerebon from Partita number one. Very popular work here. Bach has, he has, He has an octave on the second beat, as opposed to a third. So the expansiveness of the chord implies a slight emphasis. So we play this a little softer, that a little louder. write this into the music. Let's look at partita number four. In partita number four, Bach writes a slur from the second to the third beat. Usually slurs indicate loud to soft. And then in the second measure, he has a half note on the second beat. So the long note implies an emphasis too. So in the first two measures of the Sarabon from partita number four, a little louder on that. A little emphasis on the top A. Right here, not too much emphasis. Now let's tr apply this second beat emphasis to the aria. Let's just walk through the aria a little bit. I want to just tell you right off that I do use pedal. I do use pedal on this aria. You can see some of my pedaling here on the dampers. I won't be able to explain a lot, but I, I use pedal in bits and just bits of pedal to, com to combine harmonies so, so it doesn't sound so dry. Not a lot of pedal, but I, I do suggest using some pedal when you play, if you play this on piano. So let's apply this principle here. Notice how soft, a little bit louder on the second beat, not too much. This would be too much. That, of course, would be too much. Just a little bit more. Too. Soft, loud, 
here on the second beat. He has the trill. That's on the second beat too. So you can emphasize that. I like to play the trill from the upper note. actually on the that doesn't get the emphasis so much as, as that because that's the second beat so we, there and here da, 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 da. off on that and give the E the emphasis. There. I would play a little bit loud to soft right there. Sounds almost like a sigh. You want that sigh feeling on the second beat. suggest experimenting. Play this uh, accented on the first beat and then play it accented on the second beat. Not a large accent, just kind of a sigh and see which way you like better. I, I'm pretty sure you'll like the second beat better. This is the way sarabans were intended to be. The dances work out that way and I believe that uh, the music comes through when you emphasize the second beat. So stay tuned to part two when we focus on some details. Thank you. <laughs> 